All right, so the bike fucking broke. Fuck me. Oil everywhere. I moved the bike forward to see if it would roll. I got it. I No clutch pressure whatsoever. The clutch is gone. Obliterated something. Voice crack. That's always nice. But yeah, clutch. It's just fucking nothing there. Uh, I probably just need a new clutch anyway, but now I don't know what else fucking broke. If I'm dripping oil, then it blew the case. If it blew the case, I'm fucked. If for some other reason it's leaking, then I'm lucky as shit. Um, I don't know, the chain rolls off once you give it any pressure, so I'm thinking maybe the sprocket broke. The sprocket and the clutch, the front sprocket and the clutch broke together, and they're not like keeping the drive line any like torque or pressure. like. Right now it's my best bet. I haven't looked, I can only look at it from here and all I see is oil and a chain that doesn't, that is on now because I can put it on by hand, which is the problem. But, fuck man. Not how I wanted to go. I was gonna go exploring a little bit. Here's the officer. Let me go talk to him real quick. Hi officer. How you doing? I was just exploring. I know like, my uh, friends and I used to ride ATVs back there. I was just gonna ride around and look, but the bike broke, so I'm leaving now. I'll come get it in about an hour. You got ID? Yep. Seat up, like. Have a seat for me. Yep. <clears throat> Well, you drew my attention when you started to go off road, then you said you were fine. Yeah, no, I was fine, like I didn't need any help or anything. I thought you might have thought there was a problem, but I was physically fine and everything was okay until this happened just now. How's your driving license? Clean. Yeah. Wait, you gonna leave the bike back here? Um, I have a friend with the truck, like I live in the neighborhood right around the corner right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a friend who has a truck, so I was gonna go to his house, come get it real quick. No big problem. What'd you do to it? I think the clutch broke. Um, am I allowed to get up now? Yeah, just hang tight there. Okay. The clutch has no pressure. I don't pressure. want the dog to bite you. That's okay. why you're sitting down. All right, that's fine. The clutch has no pressure, and I have some oil dripping down by my kickstand. Where's your muffler at? I'm pulling up the K9 vehicle now. Oh, um, it was like I'm getting a new one, and so the other one like had a problem with it, so I cut it off for the time being, and the new one should be in the mail soon. Are you gonna push this bike out? Yeah, uh, just around the corner. I was gonna push it with. My friend, he's a pretty big guy, just like you are, and we just pushed around the corner of the truck and then just take it back to my house real quick. Like I said, it's like half a mile down the road, if that. You want to start pushing it out, you can start pushing it out, or are you going to wait for him? I was going to wait for him because right. if it's on the hill, it'll get stuck. What's up, D.A. Andrew? What's up? He, he broke down. For real? <laughs> clutch went, I think. What's that? I think the clutch blew up. It's, it's, it's got 20,000 miles on it, so I think just a little bit of stress I put on it, just... What kind of stress? Hopping the curb. Why'd you hop the curb? Take it back here. <laughs> We're gonna go around in circles. <laughs> I told he, he could push it out. He's waiting for his buddy. Do you have a motorcycle license? Yep. Yeah. Why'd you hop the curb? Just ride around back here. My friends and I used to ride ATVs back here when we were smaller a couple years ago. Unless you have a secret, that's not an ATV. <laughs> I know, but that's a street bike. This is not discreet. Right. What's your last name? Oh. Where do you live? Around the corner. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. You don't have any grenade launchers or anything in that backpack, do you? Nope. I'll what pull. the? Cool material. Okay. Laptop. Are you in good shape? Yeah, I'm. You want to get to pushing? 